In this video, I want to show you how to find your duplicates on Linux and how to deal with them. Welcome to Linux Ort. Today, we have a look onto our files or on our file system because I have some files which might be duplicated and I want just to find them all. Find, for example, also similar pictures which might have a different resolution and so on. How do we do that? on our Linux system. First of all, I open up my software manager and we are looking for a software called Chavka. I hope I pronounce it kind of correctly. Honestly, I highly doubt that. I'm searching for this tool. Here we have it. And we install this program here and then we can launch it right away. And here we have this simple program. At first, how is the structure of this program? Here in our horizontal line, we can define where to look and what paths to look and and what to exclude and something like this. And then here in this line, we can select what do we want to search or for what do we want to look after. Let's just start very, very quick with duplicate files. And the only thing I have to issue is this search button here down under, and it is now searching all my files. And then I'm seeing all my duplicate files here. We have um, home, Jean, NeoVim, home, Jean, icons, for example example and so on. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of my system folders, of my hidden folders also to be searched from this program. So we have to configure it somewhere that we don't want to search such hidden folders in our home folder. For that, I can go whether to excluded directories and then select the specific directory. But to be honest, I want all dot files and dot folders be excluded. So I go to the items configuration in here we see our excluded icons. There are already some excluded icons in there, but what I'm doing now here is write a comma and then I can write slash home slash star and then slash and then dot and then a star again like this. And then if we search again, just have a look, for example, to this pink.png where it is also in dot config wallpapers. If I search it again, then we don't see this pink PNG in there because we now only are searching for folders which are not hidden on our personal home folder. And um, this is in my eyes a very good addition to this excluded items filter. Yeah, and then we see all the duplicates which are checked by hashing algorithm here. We could also go only for example by size or by name. And um, for example, all files which have the same name and in a case sensitive name, for example, then if we search again, maybe we find some more files which also have some different sizes as we see it here. For example, normally you want to search for a hash and if we search again, then you find the real duplicate files which are exactly the same. And, and then we can define what to, could we do with them. For example, we could select all except the biggest, for example, then per group, all but the first are selected. And then we can define, okay, please delete these other files. Um, for example, we could move these other files, we could save it somewhere else, or we could create some links. But for some links and hard links option, we have to select everything here, select all, and then we can define, okay, create a sum link, for example. This is the same thing if we have a look, for example, to our document folders. And if I then go to the document here, for example, and then select edit and then select make link. So this creates a sum link, uh, so-called in Linux, which I guess every one of you already saw. And yeah, this is just a link to this real file here. And 
is Linux has two types of links. We have sum links and hard links. The thing you are knowing is the sum link. So this is a um, very small file which says us, hey, um, I am just a link for this file. And, and then this link is only on one place. The hard link is working quite similar, but we don't see it in our file manager that this is or this, this might be a hard link because this link option is on our file system itself. Then we don't see it ever again that uh, two yeah, file entries in uh, some different folders, for example, are referring to the very same file on the file system itself. This might be very cool in the first thought, but um, if you are changing later some file and you don't know it, um, that this has also a duplicate hard link, um, then this file at the duplicate hard link also adapts to its content kind of. So please don't use this hard link options unless you really know what to do. For example, a yeah kind of good option could be to create a sum link, for example, or just to ask yourself, are there some paths which are all the same and which maybe I could delete manual by going into the um, specific folder here, for example, and um, delete, for example, a specific folder because I see it everywhere in this duplicate file entry list. This could be also very helpful. But what we are doing now is to select everything and then I create a sum link. And then if we have a look, for example, this logo.svg is the same or all these files are the same to be honest, which are also in our downloads folder. And if then I'm clicking on the sum link option and then I hit OK and then we don't see any duplicates anymore. And if we have a look to our file manager again, and if we reload everything, we see there are now some files linked to the other folder here, to this documents my i3. But if we have a more detailed look to it, we see that there are still many files duplicated right now. This seems awkward, doesn't it? But this is depending on the file size also. And because here we have a 7.8 kilobyte file, and if we have a look, for example, to our logo SVG, which has been sim linked here and has been identified as a duplicate is um, this is a lot more bigger. Um, it is about 27.9 kilobytes. And we have a limit on this. We go to items configuration and here we see our minimum size. So we need at least 16.384 uh, kilobytes, which only guarantees us that it only finds duplicates which are a lot bigger than a very single, very small text file. But we could also, for example, lower this to zero size from zero to nine, 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 <laughs> and so on. And then if we search again, um, then we see there are a lot more files being searched. Let us give it a moment. And then we see again also our things in documents, here documents, my test cases T and so on. Then if I go to select, select all and then select some link again, then select OK. Um, and then if we um, have a look again, then we see OK. Now all files I copied here are now sum linked. Um, and yeah, I didn't copy every file here. So this is all right. And um, now we have this minimum size disabled kind of, but um, usually it makes sense to uh, give it a limit, for example, about 16,000 bytes, which are 16 kilobytes, um, which makes it much more faster. And um, to be honest, such small files are not wasting our file system. And I would agree to the software developers that it only makes sense for yeah, kind of bigger files um, to be searched for duplicates. Then we also could have a look for empty directories. Um, here we see some, we could delete them if we want. We could have a look for all big files. For example, give me please the 50 biggest files. And we see here, oh, I have an ISO file of Xubuntu in my downloads folder. So if I don't need this, I could, for example, select this and then delete this guy here. So yeah, I will select OK here 
and then this is gun for example now um, yeah we have saved a lot more disk space for example of course also empty files like, could be handy okay we uh, have some empty files here but to be honest some files are okay to be empty so just be very very careful what you delete here um, in the most cases you don't want to delete anything uh, here because yeah also the size on the disk is very very low for these files we also have maybe some temporary files okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have some similar images this is much more interesting let's have a look if we find some images honestly i'm looking for a specific file Okay, now I'm finding it. I had to turn down the similarity a bit, but um, in the um, practical case, you want the similarity on very, very high. Um, then on very high, we don't see anything here, but if I lower the similarity a bit, then I see some pictures which are kind of the same. Just have a look. I just click on this and click on this. Oh yeah, they are kind of similar, but not too similar if we, if we see it here. This one has no taskbar in it and this one has a taskbar in it. So very interesting, but I'm looking for these both images here this image web p and png ah okay yeah i understand it that <laughs> the similarity is not a good here because i yeah messed it up a bit to find some both very similar looking images um okay i understand that that um this has a bit similarity issues as we as we see it here but what i wanted to show you okay um, please hold your breath it is such a picture here we have two complete different pictures as it comes to also our file size our resolutions but also to the image format here we have a png image and then a jpeg image but it also found it also with very high similarity we also find it this is very very cool and so now we could also decide okay what to do with these images do we want to create a some link do we want to do anything with them but yeah this is what I wanted to show you yeah you could have some particular different images kind of here different file size different file ending the file name could also be different of course but also different dimensions and we see the similarity here and also find our similar images this is very very cool i just wanted to show it to you also similar videos is um yeah kind of similar um music duplicates we could also find if we want to and we could also search for invalid zoom links something to broken files or also bad extensions but honestly in the most cases you want to use the duplicate files here maybe empty directories and similar images this is a great power of this program also called hiccup this is the translation for kafka i guess yeah very very nice program not so nice program name or maybe hard to remember but um, the functionality of this program i just wanted to show you with this video and yeah this was basically it for this video so if you're looking for some more helpful tools here on linux just have a look onto our youtube channel we already uploaded some other videos about this for example for text recognition or image recognition just have a look to this but also, if you don't want to miss any future videos, make sure to like and subscribe this YouTube channel because here we are releasing new stuff about Linux and open source every week. But for now, have fun with finding duplicates and see you on the next one. Bye bye.